Well, before I can progress much further with videos using the slave, I want to have some way to hold my camera or my mobile phone um, around the area of this lathe here so I can show close-ups of the chuck um, further away maybe from above and certainly from the back so I want to make something today which will achieve that purpose well I scouted around and I found this um, holder here for an old-fashioned lamp and I think this can be used um, as the basis of uh, my camera holder um, I don't think I need all three sections, I think two will be enough. What I propose doing is um, mount this off the wall uh, with a little turntable so it can rotate like that, it can move in this direction, and then something on the end to hold the camera. Uh, I've got a few scraps of wood here and we'll see what we can make out of that. So that'll be our disc.
well let's just review where we've got to so far. This was our boom, if you like, which we reclaimed from a table lamp, our old fashioned table lamp. So I've taken one section out and on the end here I'll put this bracket. We've made the mounting plate which goes on the wall and the turntable which has a spigot in the back locates in that hole and that enables it to rotate like this uh, with um, wing nuts and washers to, to lock it so that's that part complete and the boom goes in those slots um, the advantage of this uh, layout is we have um, effectively twice the friction because it's clamping on both sides across the outside so that's complete uh, I've just uh, produced a quick uh, layout drawing here of the final part which is the camera mounting so here we have the uh, bracket on the end there um, we'll have a similar wooden clamping feature here uh, which will then locate in our mounting plate so there'll be a hole there and it will look like that um, and that will enable us to have several degrees of freedom it will rotate it will tilt and then um, it will also rotate that way so that's a quick review and uh, we'll continue with um, making this part here this um, bracket clamp between this and this. Well this is where we've got to. The, the holder for the mobile phone is ready. It rotates like this and in this plane and in this plane. Um, there's a handy clip-on holder here which is spring-loaded so the mobile phone just slots in there. Um, I wanted this kind of design because I want to be able to remove my phone quickly and easily with one hand without necessarily disturbing the setting. So this is quite light to the touch yet uh, locks the, the phone securely. And then we've got the, the uh, movement of the arm itself as I showed you before. So I'm just going to rub this down now, paint it and uh, hopefully get it on the wall and start to use it for my next video. Well after painting, um, here are the parts ready for assembly. Uh, yeah, I mean it's not an, an expert job, but it's, it uh, brings it all together, makes it look like um, it's intended to be um, one item rather than bits and pieces coupled together. So we'll put it together and then try it out. the uh, range of movement we can uh, position the camera so it's looking down on the headstock we can come back like this and take a more central view down the center line um, as far back as here now the other thing we can do is rotate this so that we can get more of a um, an elevated view from the rear like that and in that setting we can also come up close to the to the action of the headstock and we want to get close up shots so there we are that's um i hope to uh, put this into use in my next video so thank you for joining me